Welcome, Gun Runner. Hey everybody, it's uh, Kieran AK The Laird here and I have a special Christmas video for you which will be going out exclusively on the Retro Unlim channel which I became um, part of um, just this year. So uh, a big shout out to uh, Stephen from Retro Unlim who runs the, the brilliant channel and uh, networks everyone together and a big shout out to all the other YouTubers and creators involved in the Retro Unlim network. Now, this Christmas video, um, I was racking my brain um, what to do when Stephen asked me if I could come up with something, and uh, this is the result. So, I'm going to bring you my 12 games of Christmas. Now, just to um, explain this a little bit more, um, these are 12 games um, that I received for Christmas. Um, when I was a child, I've strictly kept it down to when I was a child, so there won't be any modern games in here, they'll all be retro stuff. And these are 12 games I received that have really, really stuck in my brain and, uh, you know, bring back enormous nostalgia for me, you know, and when it's Christmas and I think back from into Christmas's past, you know, these games remain um, great memories and they're often games that I pick out to play um, over Christmas when I've got a bit of spare time for that reason. So I'm not going to waffle on much longer. Um, I'm going to get straight on with it and bring you my 12 games of Christmas, and I hope you enjoy. Now the first game on my list is one of the six games that came free with my ZX Spectrum, which I got for Christmas back in 1987. Now I had to share this Becky with my uh, younger brother and older sister, and as six games came with it, we decided that we would have two of them each and split them thusly, although we did have a big argument over who was going to have which games. Now, of the two I picked, Alien Destroyer is the one that I remember best. Okay, it might just be a pretty um, bang average Galaxian clone, but uh, I loved it for some reason, and uh, I don't really know why, because playing it today, it really isn't that good. But uh, it still has a great memory, and uh, it's the game that I probably played more than any other out of the, the six that came with my Spectrum, actually. So, for that reason, it makes this list. Now, anyone who knows me will know that my favourite system of all time is the Atari Lynx. And uh, I got mine in the summer of 1990 after having saved up my uh, paper round money for an extremely long time and uh, that coming Christmas uh, I asked for some Atari Lynx games for Christmas from my from my dad and uh, Shanghai was one of the games he bought now I remember initially being very disappointed when I saw it because I thought oh god this game looks really boring and uh, never have I been so wrong about a game in my entire life because Shanghai is absolutely brilliant and uh, it remains one of my favourite Lynx games to this day. Probably one of the most addictive puzzle games I've ever played and it, it really does show that uh, looks can deceive. The next game on my list is the one that came free with my Atari 2600 that I got for Christmas in 1988. And uh, that is Centipede. Now, despite being a massive arcade goer, I've never actually played Centipede before, and I don't really know how. I, I'm really not sure how I avoided it all those years. So the 2600 version was actually my first experience with the game, and uh, I instantly fell in love with it, and ever since, Centipede has probably become actually one of my favourite games of all time. For Christmas 1991, my younger brother and I asked for a Sega Mega Drive. Now, there was two reasons why we wanted a Sega Mega Drive. Firstly, because my brother really wanted Sonic the Hedgehog, being a massive fan of platformers. And secondly, because I really wanted Streets of Rage, being a massive fan of scrolling beat-em-ups. So that's the next game on this list, Streets of Rage. And uh, I loved the first game. I played it almost non-stop that Christmas. And uh, I thought it was pretty much the best thing ever. Well, until Streets of Rage 2 came along, that is. By the time I came round to owning a Sega Saturn, 
I was very much an adult, earning my own wages and buying my own games. So getting games for Christmas really wasn't a thing anymore. But the one Saturn game that does stick in my mind from this period is of course Christmas Nights. It came free on the cover of Sega Saturn magazine and to this day I don't think there's a single video game that sums up Christmas more than this amazing title. My younger brother was always upset that I'd never let him play on my links. So that Christmas 1990 he asked my dad if he could have a Game Boy for himself. I wanted to buy him a game to go with this but when I visited my local game shop there was actually only one game on the shelf that I could afford and that was tennis and that was the sole reason why I bought it, not expecting much of it. But when my brother did unwrap his Game Boy and did get playing the games I discovered that tennis was absolutely fantastic and just for a short time the tables turned and it was me wanting to play on his Game Boy rather than him wanting to play on my links, all because of this title. Next up we have the Jaguar version of Doom. Now this came out in Christmas of 1994 and I was working at Game in Hemel Hempstead and uh, I was buying Jaguar games pretty much as soon as they came out at this point because I had lots of expendable income. But of all the games that I got around that period, uh, Doom is the one that really sticks in my head because it was an absolutely amazing conversion of the PC original and uh, remains one of the best games ever released for the Jaguar. Um, I absolutely played it to death in all my spare hours that Christmas. The next game on my list is actually something a little bit different because it's not a video game as such. It's a handheld game and it's Space Fight by Tiger Electronics. And way before I got a Spectrum or an Atari 2600 or anything, we always seemed to get an LCD game in, in our stocking from Santa. And one year I got this game and became absolutely addicted to it. It wasn't until many, many, many years later that I found out it was actually a clone of the uh, Midway arcade game Space Sap, which makes sense as to why it was so good. We go back to the Spectrum for the next entry and one of those free games we got with the machine. And this one is Oh Mummy. This was actually one of the games allocated to my sister, but uh, as I got to play on the computer more than anyone else, I think um, I probably played this game more than anyone else. And uh, it's remained a favourite of mine on the Spectrum to this day, and a few years ago I even got to write about it in Retro Gamer magazine, which was cool. And now we have another entry for the Lynx, in the form of Hard Drive-In. And this again was I asked my dad for a, uh, a Lynx game for Christmas and he picked out this because he was familiar with it from the arcades. One thing my dad always loved playing was driving games and uh, I couldn't have been happier because I was a massive fan of the game too. The Lynx port turned out to be really really good, probably the best home conversion of it of the time and uh, yeah still a favourite of mine to this day. And back to the Atari 2600 for Defender 2. And uh, when we got our 2600 that came with Centipede, my dad actually bought us two extra games, which was this title and Crossbow for my younger brother. And I couldn't believe how good Defender 2 was and how close it was to the arcade game. And I think to this day I still regard it as one of the best games ever released for the Atari 2600. It really is incredible. And the last game on my 12 games of Christmas, I have already mentioned, so uh, you probably saw this coming, but it is Sonic the Hedgehog. Although this was meant for my brother, uh, and I wasn't really a fan of platformers, I couldn't help of be in awe of this game, because it was just such a, an amazing quality product. And, uh, you know, it's iconic to this day, and uh, synonymous with the Mega Drive itself. I thank you for joining me for my 12 games of Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this quick rundown. Please let me know in the comments what your favourite Christmas memories are. And uh, finally, I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'll see you all again in 2020 on my channel.